everyone and welcome back to another keto mukbang and movie. I have barbecued chicken, jalapeno poppers, and the longest ride. everyone welcome so good to see all of you and I'm excited about tonight's dinner and the movie tonight's specialty is my side I've got barbecue chicken which I've made before it's just a boneless skinless chicken breast that I've done with barbecue sauce and grilled it up but what the special part is is my jalapeno poppers keto style now yes they don't look like your normal jalapeno poppers with all the breading on it which is done with like a cornmeal which is all, you know, trial and error, but I think they turned out good. One thing is I couldn't find my cord to um, my fryer to fry these. So I had to put some oil in a pan on the stove and try to do them that way. It wasn't deep enough because of course the pan was so big, but next time I will definitely find my cord and do them that way. But what I did was, believe it or not, I took the batter that I make my pancake with, except for I didn't add the cinnamon and I added a little bit more cream cheese. So I used two eggs, and I used three ounces of cream cheese to make the batter a little thicker. So now you have a liquid batter like you're gonna do a corn dog, when you see a corn dog dipped or a um, like your jalapeno poppers, okay? So I dipped it in that. Well, that's gonna be a little bit more runnier, so it tends to run off. But if I could have really quick put it into a fryer and emerged it all the way down because my oil in my pan didn't go all the way over the top of them, so I had to flip these, um, would have been even better, okay? But that's what I did. I added two eggs, three ounces of cream cheese into my bullet. I mixed it up, then I poured it in a bowl, and then I took my jalapeno poppers. I've got three full jalapenos here cut in half. I put a teaspoon of cream cheese. I cleaned them all out. You'll see pictures at the end. And then I put a teaspoon of cream cheese in the middle of them, and then I put, um, and then I dipped it in my batter real quick into the batter. You'll see a pitcher, and then I put it into the pan. Like I said, the pan wasn't high enough. The oil would have been better in an, a fryer but next time I'll just do it that way when I find my cord. Um, but anyways, so I put them in there and then just after a little while, I flipped them over just to get them a little bit more cooked on that side. But yes, you're not gonna have as much batter as a real one, but we're doing keto, right? And I've already had one, they are delicious. I love them. I think they turned out phenomenal. And it's funny how you can make that batter without adding the cinnamon, a little bit more cream cheese and made it a little thicker. So, yum, I'm excited about tonight's dinner. And then we're gonna watch the movie, The Longest Ride. And I'm gonna tell you about it real quick because obviously I don't show clips or anything now. This is the most romantic movie I've ever seen and you will cry at the end. Of course, I'm not gonna tell you the end, but it was an incredible movie. In fact, even my husband got teary-eyed at the end. That's how romantic the ending is. The whole movie's romantic, but the ending is phenomenal. And I'll just read it to you. Based on the best-selling book by master storyteller Nicholas Sparks, The Longest Ride Will Make You Believe in True Love. When Luke Scott Eastwood, a former champion bull rider attempting a comeback, meets Sophia Britt Robinson, a college student preparing for her dream job in New York, they embark on an extraordinary yet uncertain romantic journey. As conflicting paths test their budding relationship, Luke and Sophia make a faithful connection with Ira, that's Alan Alda, who's a heartwarming, or I mean, sorry, whose heartwarming memories of his own marriage inspire the young couple and change their lives forever. Mm. This movie is phenomenal. You definitely have to get it if you have not seen it. It's called The Longest Ride. Beautiful movie. So I'm actually going to watch it again because it was so good. So I'll get that going. Just keep it down. But yes, please watch this movie. It was so good. And try this dinner out. I'm drinking Diet Sprite. Oh, the whole dinner is six carbs because my barbecue sauce is one carb because I only did a little bit on it. Um, I think it's two tablespoons is one carb and that's what I got on here is two tablespoons, okay? And then, and this was done on my grill pan. I grilled them up. 
So I've got the barbecue as I was grilling them after they were cooking, and then I put a little bit more on top. But it's two tablespoons, so you got one carb there. And then my jalapenos is just three full jalapenos, which a whole cup is six. I don't even have a half a cup here, so I'm guessing it's like maybe two carbs for the jalapenos. And then for the cream cheese, I would say two more carbs and with the batter, counting the batter too, because that's done with cream cheese too. So which means I would have one, two, three, four, five. Five carb dinner, yum. I wanna teach you guys sides too, and that's why I'm trying different things because I can't always come up with meals for the you know the main meal too. It's also important to have sides because now you got your jalapeno poppers and you can do it with whatever side you want. I chose boneless, skinless chicken tonight with barbecue sauce and diet seven up. Yum, let's get eating. But you know what? I'm gonna try one of these jalapeno poppers for you. I'm gonna show you one up close. Look at them. You can see the batter on it. You can see the cream cheese. Now, yes, it's not like the original jalapeno poppers, but do we um, live to eat or do we eat to live? So these are yummy and delicious. We don't need the original ones. This one here, we've only got four carbs. The other ones, again, I'll take a picture and I'll put it in at the end and we'll find out how many carbs are in a jalapeno popper. Uh, let's try one. Yum. I've already had one. I already know they're delicious. Yum. Look at that. Delicious, creamy, and good. And I did pull out all the seeds so they're not as hot, the jalapenos. If you want them hotter, you can leave the seeds in it. I kind of wish I would have left the seeds because I like it hotter, but there's still a bite to them. They're good. Mmm, 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 mmm. I know who's going to try that. I know Monica and Dave will definitely try that. And I know all my keto people, I know Jennifer will probably try it if she likes jalapeno poppers. I guess you have to like jalapenos. There's my chicken, barbecue chicken cooked up perfectly. Mmm, nice and tender. Oh, and the oil I used is olive oil. That's what I cooked them in. So your oil is going to be different cooking too. The temperature is going to get different being an olive oil versus, you know, like an actual oil they cook them in. So this is a much better oil. This is a little bit of a heavier fat, not the chicken. So we're keeping it low fat by having chicken. But remember guys, I'm in maintenance mode. You guys gotta remember that I'm showing you meals that you get to eat when you hit maintenance mode. Phenomenal. But I'll keep it a little lower tonight having chicken, but I could have had beef, that's fine, or a steak or anything. But I chose barbecue chicken. And then the jalapeno poppers are gonna be a little bit more fatty, of course, because it was done in olive oil, but that is a good oil. And I did strain them and then I did put them on a paper towel. So it got rid of a lot of the grease. But you got your cream cheese and then your cream cheese mixture. So they're gonna be a little bit higher fat, but the pepper is nothing. So that's not gonna be nothing. But this would be a little bit higher fat. So I would recommend if you're trying to lose weight, maybe once a week have this. Not, you know, every, not a couple times a week. I would definitely do it maybe once, maybe twice a month, if that, just because a little heavier fat. But like I said, I mean, there's barely any cream cheese. There's like a little, like a, teaspoon or less in each one and I just pushed them down inside and then put it inside that batter but because the batter is you know is cream cheese too and eggs it is going to be a little of a heavier fat look at that yum so good these jalapenos aren't even hot I'm kind of bummed out I didn't leave the seeds in them because I like them spicy mm -mm 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 -mm. oh my god they are so good they definitely, to me, taste like a jalapeno popper. Definitely, because you're still tasting that batter, even though it's not completely coated it like a corn dog. But you can taste the batter, and it's so good. Isn't that funny? That batter that I used to make a pancake can actually be used for that. You're just getting rid of the cinnamon and adding another ounce of cream cheese. So two egg, three ounces of cream cheese. Mix it up really good in your blender or your bullet so it turns into a liquid. And then dip them after the, uh, you know, the... the Peppers are all cleaned out and you got the cream cheese inside of it. Then dip them quick and into the hot oil. Like I said, if I had had my fryer um, cord, I would have done it in my fryer. They would have emerged all the way down and then I wouldn't have had to flip them. And then it would have probably held the batter on there, you know, better. Because it would have been nice and hot and held it on there. Trial and error, like I said. I absolutely love this movie. We rented it from the library. I had never even heard of it, and I just grabbed like 12 different movies from there, and all these movies turned out to be so good, but this was the best one out of all of them that we've seen. I mean, to look over and see my husband 
get teared up at the end, you know the ending has got to be good because it takes a lot for my husband. My husband does have more of a sensitive side, which I love that about him. I love a man that will show his sensitivity, but it's not like he sits around any balls, okay? But I love that that touched him. This movie touched him so much. I mean, I looked over and he's got tears coming down and then he turned away because he was a little bit embarrassed. I'm like, what's wrong? He was like, he goes, it's nothing, it was just amazing. Like that ending was just amazing. He loved it. And so did I. I mean, I'm, I'm all welled up with tears too watching it, but... I love when a man can have a little bit of that sensitivity to him. You know, that makes him more of a man. My father, when he was younger, and this is really sad, when he was younger, his dad always taught him that boys do not cry, you know? And so my dad always held everything in. And I had never seen my dad cry in my whole life. I had never seen my dad cry but one time. And that made me cry so hard when I see my dad cry. Actually, I see my dad cry twice. But the first time he ever cried was when I was told about my heart condition at 22 years old. Um, he looked up at God, and I'm his only daughter. He has five sons. I have five brothers. I'm the only girl. He looked up at God, and he said, Don't you dare take my baby girl from me, because in the beginning, my heart was only functioning at 8%, and I was on a heart transplant list, and I had the heart of an 83-year-old. They said that I definitely, if I would have waited any longer to go in, maybe a day or two longer, I would have died. So... It wasn't good, and my dad was really, really sad. So he that was the first time I had ever seen him cry. And then another time was um, uh, right before my father's death. He was going through a lot. And my mom and dad were going through a uh, separation. They were separated then. And that was really hard on my dad. So, um, but, you know, they, not anything to talk about on here. But it's just, you know, they were having their issues and stuff like that. And so it was kind of sad. And then about three or four months later, my dad had passed away. But... That's I, the only time, and he didn't do it in front of any of us. I had happened to come over there to see him, and I heard him upstairs crying, so I just left them. So, but that's the only two times I ever seen my dad cry. And I believe men should cry if, if they need to cry, they need to cry. Why can only girls cry, right? Why can't a guy be sensitive too? This chicken is phenomenal. It's super tender and good. You know, my chicken. I always buy the grass-fed chicken. I think it tastes much better. I don't know your guys' opinion if you've bought any of the grass-fed or the ones that don't have the, um, you know, the steroids, injections, and all that in the animals. But I think it tastes way better. It's more tender. I mean, these animals are being fed grass. That's how God wanted it. The animals were supposed to eat off the land, not be injected with steroids and, and antibiotics and all that. No. They were supposed to eat off the land. Yum. I did these because the other day, um, yesterday actually, you guys won't get this video. Right now it is Friday, um, the 16th, Fr uh, Saturday, Saturday the 16th. You won't get this till next Saturday, I think. So, or maybe even a few days after that, I'm not sure. But anyways, yesterday I was watching Evie from Evie's Eating Show and she was eating jalapeno poppers and it just made me think, I've got to find a way to do these because they look so good. I got to find a way to do them keto style. So thank you, Evie, for making that video because I found a way to make them keto style. And girl, I'm telling you right now, I know there's not as much breading on them, but they're really creamy and good. Like you talked about the creaminess, they're so good and way better. Four carbs, girl, four. Mm. And when you make them yourself, you can control the amount of cream cheese you put in them. Mmm. Although the more cream cheese you put, the more fat it is. But in my case, it doesn't matter. I can eat more fat. Yum. I, um, as you see, this is my outfit of the day. You guys seen that video? Wasn't that cool? The Metro, or not the Metrodome, the stadium. That's so awesome. The Vikings. I love that my husband brought me down there to do it. When he heard I was wearing purple, he said, we're going down there. We needed to see it anyways. I mean, we're Viking fans, and we hadn't even seen our new stadium. I think it's been up for two years. So, <laughs> one of my brothers actually laid the concrete for that stadium. It's really cool. He works for um, a construction company, and he laid the concrete for it. So, he got to be there a lot, and he's already been to games and everything. My family are huge Viking fans. Mmm, so good. The guy in here that 
that girl fall, he is falling in love with. Oh, he's good looking. For a younger guy, he's good looking. Good looking cowboy. Um, I love, uh, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of bull riding movies or whatever, but I loved Eight Seconds. Um, that was based on a true story. That one I really like with Luke Perry. So this one here, I kind of like too because of that. Yum. My husband will like these. Yum. Oh, it's so hot today. Thank God for air. Oh my God, I don't know if I could live today without this air. It is like, the humidity is 100% today and it's like 103. Thank God for air. Mm. I'm already getting full. This one's got more batter. <laughs> Yum. And I'm getting my green in. <laughs> Yum. Wish I could give you guys a bite. So you can see just real quick how good it is. Oh, this chicken is so tender. Look at that. Oh my God, it's so tender and delicious. Like I said, I just cooked it in olive oil. And <clears throat> mm, it's cooked perfectly. I'm sure it keeps going up. I like it down though. It can be up or down. Mm. Oh, I'm getting so full. Mm. I'm going to hold off on the rest of that chicken. I'll eat it later. But I'm going to finish the last of this jalapeno. Can you see that? Come on, doesn't that look good? It doesn't have to be completely breaded. Uh -uh. The best part about jalapeno, I think, is the jalapeno and the cream cheese. <laughs> Yum. I'm starting to get, well, I already told you in another video, tan. I've been out like three or four times, that's it. I get tan pretty fast, even though I'm so light complected, I tan pretty quick. I mean, I'm not super duper tan right now, but this is a lot for only three times. Last bite. Yum. Oh my God, that's good. Like I said, I'm gonna hold off here now because I'm very full. That was a big piece of chicken. I think it was at least four or four or five ounces. That was a big piece. So, might have even been more. Might even been five or six. If I had to guess, I would say it was probably about five. Mm, yum. I wish I could show you these clips. We're at the part right now where he, he's actually going um, to take her on her first date. But it's so, what I like about this movie is there's a part in here where they are going on a date and at their date, I think it was their first date, they are heading back first or second. I'm sorry, I don't even remember what date it was. I only seen it one time. But anyways, it was one of their dates that they went, and I think it was this one. They um, go on a date, and they find a guy that was in a car accident. And they go down, and, and he saves him. He pulls him out, and he brings him to the hospital. And, and he's saying, grab my um, box. So she grabs the box, and they go to the hospital, and they said that he's doing all right or whatever, and he's, he's going to live. And she goes in to bring him the box, and he's like, what are you doing with my box? And she goes, you told me to grab it. And he goes... You're the one that pulled me out. She goes, no, my um, friend did. Um, but you told me to grab the box. He goes, or what are you doing with the box? And she said, you told me to grab it though. So he got the box and in this box is his whole life with his wife, that his, the love of his life, every letter, just all this stuff. But he's so old now that he can't read anymore, even with his glasses. And so he's pretty sad about that. And so she said, would you like me to read one of the letters to you? Because she had asked something about it. He goes, did you read my letters? And she goes, well, I just wanted to know a little bit about you or whatever. So 
he said, yeah, would she, she had asked him, do you want me to read it to you? So he did. So it goes into the story then, and it goes back when this older guy was first, first finds this woman, falls in love with her. I mean, he's just head over heels for her and falls in love and stuff like that. And then it just goes on and he starts telling his story. Well, through this, this other guy's a bull rider and she don't want him to continue to bull ride, the younger girl and guy. Doesn't want him to do it anymore because she found out he had a bad injury years ago and almost killed him. And she didn't want him to do it anymore, but he wasn't going to give it up. It's something he said, that's all I know. And stuff like that. So it's kind of putting a, a strain on their relationship. And she, I mean, she's giving up everything for him because she wants to be with him, but yet he can't give that up. So then she breaks it off with him and she goes to talk to this old guy again. And he was just telling her stories about how things weren't working with him and his wife and how when you love somebody, you have to set them free and stuff like that if you do so they can find happiness and stuff like that. And it's just an absolutely amazing movie. And then the love this man, this older guy had for this woman was insane. And he bought her all these, she, she was very much into art and she loved, he bought all these art pieces for her paintings on the wall and stuff. And so at the end, of course, I'm not gonna tell you the ending, but the ending is the best part. After the old man passes away, what happens? You definitely gotta get this movie. It is the greatest love story. I mean, not probably the greatest ever, but it is a beautiful love story. And if it doesn't make you cry, I'll be surprised. So get the tissues. But anyways, I'm gonna finish up this movie. I love you guys very much. Um, if you're new to my channel, please hit that notification. Well, hit the subscribe button and then the notification so you don't miss any videos. And I hope you're enjoying these mukbangs and definitely try out those jalapeno poppers keto style. I love you guys very much. God bless, take care, and we'll see all of you in my next video. Thank mm -hmm. you.